At Crisafi, we create pieces and designs that make women feel empowered and confident. I am Maria Chu. I am the founder and director of Chrysafi Fine Jewelry. Uh, I built my business two years ago after I moved to Singapore with my family. Um, my background is in mathematics and that's why my jewelry line is based on geometry. It's a, it's a subject that I really love and I have taught for years and I wanted to include that into my pieces. I was born in Melbourne, Australia 36 years ago. Uh, but when I was six years old, my parents decided to move to Greece uh, because they thought that our, uh, bring, our upbringing would be better there. So um, I went to a public school in Athens and I studied applied mathematics and physics in the National Technical University of Athens. Uh, I started uh, teaching at the age of 18 for pocket money uh, and that actually became my main job for 13 years. At the age of 25, I met my husband who lived in London at the time and a year later, after a long distance relationship, I decided to move to London and continue my life with him and start uh, my career, a career there in a different city, which was one of my first biggest challenges of my job to teach in a different language. Uh, so that went well. Uh, and at the age of 30, I had my first son, Alexandros, who was born in London. And two years later, we had our second son, uh, Leandros, uh, who was born in Athens, as we were moving to a different country at the time. Uh, and that's when we moved to Singapore. When I moved to Singapore, uh, I didn't work at the beginning because I wanted to be a focused mum and to be with my kids as my youngest was only two months old. But 
after a year, I decided I wanted something bigger and something that I'm very, very passionate about. Tutoring was not enough for me. I wanted to build a brand on something I really love, which is style, accessories, jewelry. I started creating first costume pieces, costume jewelry pieces, uh, but then I decided I wanted something more timeless, something more classic, like my style. And uh, that's why I um, decided to create uh, gold, solid gold pieces. Chris Afi is a fine jewelry line uh, with pieces cast from 14 and 18 karat solid gold and decorated with, uh, with gems like diamonds, emeralds, sapphires. And we also do custom jewelry. Um, all the pieces are based on geometry, on geometrical shapes like hexagons, rhombi, uh, triangles. Uh, and that's how I integrated two of my biggest passions, geometry and jewelry together. <laughs> Chrysarthi actually started in my living room uh, where a friend and I sat together as I was quite inexperienced on how to design pieces and she was already a jewelry designer. Uh, we sat together and we designed my first pieces uh, which were costume jewelry pieces. And uh, I remember there were one was a rhombus, one was a triangle, one was a big circle. Uh, but in the end, uh, when they were first made, uh, only one was wearable, the other three were not, because I didn't know how they would fit in the ear. I decided after that, that I needed a deeper knowledge of jewelry design. And that's when I decided to attend a jewelry illustration course and get a better knowledge of how to do that. And I was ready after that to create my first proper, complete collection. We started selling our first collections online through our website and that's how the brand started growing and selling not only in Singapore but also abroad. And within a year, I, I'm very proud to say that we managed to get to our first physical showcase in a retail store in the middle of Orchard Road in Singapore. We want women from business women to mothers who take the kids to play dates to feel empowered and confident. The way you look reflects on the way you feel. And that's the reason we create timeless pieces that make women feel good and beautiful. Being a mother, a wife and an entrepreneur is not as easy as it sounds, but not as difficult as it sounds. There are moments that you feel you're very fulfilled and you're very happy with yourself and what you're doing. There are moments that are very, very challenging. So when the moments become challenging in life, what I really need to do and what I want to do is to focus on every single moment I spend as these different parts in my life. When I'm a mom, I really need to focus to be a mom at that moment. When I'm an entrepreneur, I try to block everything else aside and just focus on that. And when I'm a woman and a wife, I try to focus on myself and my husband uh, as two, as a team, as partners. So I think that's the secret to, to myself being more balanced in my everyday life. I'm not very good with advice, uh, giving advice, because I'm not very good sometimes receiving advice. <laughs> But uh, if I have to say something is it's never too late to follow your dream and despite any fears you have and despite whatever everything else is saying, you should try it at least because it's better regretting something you have done rather than something you haven't done. Believe me, I had a lot of fears when I started this business, this brand. I had no idea what I was doing, but I said, you know what, it's my passion, I love it, and I want to go forward and I want to try it, whatever the consequences.